Hello! It's your friendly friend, Wizard Foo, and I'm still working on the game Load Ragger. Will be for the next couple years, too. Yep. Load Ragger, five versus five. What am I working on now? Building buildings again, refining that process. Check out what's happening. <clears throat> There's been a lot of improvements made to building buildings. So, move the character, I pick up the hammer, I become a builder. And uh, the way it works is I press and hold the, the hammer button to start building. And I can then use the direction keys to choose which building I want to build. Let's say I want to build uh, the knights or the, the archer's lair. That's a pretty cool one. Then I press the A button to confirm. I can also hold down. I start get this thing. If I want to cancel, I can press the B button and that cancels. Uh, if I try and create something on top of uh, something else... It's red, showing me that even if I press the A button, it doesn't work. So, there's that. We can now build buildings with uh, without them being on top of other stuff. And select which building to build. And so, though, basically building stuff is kind of how I imagine now. And I'm not sure if... Uh, oh yeah, the archer roll has been around. But the archer roll... Oh, I forgot. I killed all the creeps. But anyways, there you go. That's all there is to it. Uh, building buildings is now more refined. So let's check out the code and see what that looks like. Uh, basically, it's mostly in the input system uh, because, of course, this is you know using the player's input, the A, B buttons, and uh, using the hammer button and all that to create the building. So using the hammer, all it does is it waits for a certain elapsed duration to happen before it sets the input flags, input building. So if an input component has the flag input building, that kind of changes a lot of things. Uh, well, the move system, for example, ignores all of its directional input. So uh, if in the move system, when it ticks the entity, if it uh, has the building flag, then it ignores that move, the uh, desired heading for it. Uh, and then the input system also goes into a special mode when it has that on, where it calls tick building for that entity. So tick building basically goes and uh, it responds to the up, left, down, and right arrow keys by changing the building type. And it also allows the player to cancel, which basically clears the input building flag. And uh, then it also, if you press the A button, it, it uh, creates the building. So it calls create building. And then it also has a little thing where it, sh it shows the animation of what building will be built. So that keeps it kind of uh, visual. One thing that will need to happen is uh, below that visual of the building that's about to be built, there need to be the amount of gold it costs, the amount of wood it costs, and the A and B buttons to show you that you can press stuff. Um, here's what create building is. It basically uh, gets the current building pause, checks if it's available at that position, and its file name, gold cost, wood cost, and all that. And then um, decrements the player's gold and wood and creates the entity. So that's it. Um, the building process is now a bit more refined. And this is going to enable me to, this week my goal is to um, make it so you can actually play an entire match of load raggers. So basically you can go all the way across to the enemy team's base, steal their lodestone, drag it back to your base. Things that will be required to do that. I'll need to be able to build bridges, so that's why I was working on these buildings here. So bridges, um, we'll need to have creeps in place, so that uh, creeps giving you experience, so that you can upgrade your rollless roll to uh, to to the uh, arch ragger, so you can drag the lodestone, and that's it. So thanks for watching this video. Come at you with another one soon.